Good morning, class. This is Mr. Dino, and you're welcome to my class. How are you? Yes, that's good. Now I want you to stand up and sing with me our hello song. Ready? Three, two, one. Listen. Number three, be quiet. And number four, hands on your table all the time. And number five, sit down straight facing your computer. Today um, is a review time for before your exam. I'm so excited because in this um, lesson today, we will be looking back at most important things from unit seven to unit eight. Okay, get ready. Good. It's good to see you today. I'm now recording a instruction for the final exam. Then after that, I will have a continuation of the review for the final exam. How are you today? Doing good? Great. Now I'm going to share my screen to show you uh, how we're going to do our exam. Um, unlike before, when we had exam, uh, we did it by writing our exam on a piece of paper. But right now, um, you will be doing your exam through Google Form. It's going to be easier. Um, all you've got to do is to fill out informations that are needed for um, the exam. So without further ado, we will go to our um, exam. So this vocabulary, part two will be food vocabulary. Part three, we'll have grammar, the usage of there is and there are. For part number four, you will be having a numbers or number 11 to 20. Um, you will be counting objects and identify what number is equivalent to the objects you are counting. Uh, most important information that I need you to fill out is your name, nickname, you know your nickname already, number, uh, your number in the class and also your section example p1 slash 1 okay if you are p1 slash 1 you can put right here p1 slash 1 below so this is it when you see these things right here you cannot fill out immediately like this. All you've got to do is to go to preview and start filling the information. All that has a star on it is required 
means to say, if you don't know your name, that's okay so long as you have your nickname and number. Okay? So right here, you can start filling up name, your full name, nickname, here, number of the class, your number, here, your class. So with this, you need to complete each section. Okay. My par pardon me. So with this, uh, going to the exam, how you're going to do it is when you open the file, it's like this. The link will be sent to you. But to answer the question, all you've got to do is to click on these three dots right here. And then click on the preview. Now you can see this thing on your screen. All you've got to do is to fill up your name right here. All, as what I said a while ago, all the things that has a star, okay, will be required. Means to say that you cannot submit this exam unless you answer all the um, areas that have a star in it. Your name, number, class. And then um, all you've got to do is not similar to uh, the exam on paper which you will um, choose a b c here just have to tick the box or click in the box example right here so right here okay you can just select any of this for your answer like that click or this one or this one any of this okay you just have to select you have to select only you don't have to um, choose ABC because there's no ABC option right here so that's it at the end of the exam at the end of the exam you click submit submit right here once again that's what I told you you cannot submit unless there are still areas that are not complete you need to complete them before the submission and so i guess that's all for this instruction and in continuation of this video i will include the review that we did for our class from lesson or unit number seven and unit number eight all right that's all. P, uh, P1 final exam review. Okay. P1 final exam review. This will cover on the following things. Our coverage will be from seven, unit seven to unit eight. We learn about parts of the house, numbers one to 20, food, and the grammar part, there is and there are. How do we use them? Okay, are you ready to get started? To start with, let us begin with the vocabulary, okay? Now, we know all these things already, but I just want to make sure. Okay, can you tell me what is it? Let's begin now. What is it? It's a kitchen. Very good. What about this one? It's a living room. Good job. What about this one? Again? It's a dining room. That's correct. What about this one? May I hear it? Loud and clear? Come on. It's a bedroom. Okay. Bedroom. Excuse me. What about this one? 
toilet? Ah, okay. Uh, yes, that's also correct, but we call it bathroom, okay? Bathroom. Bathroom. What about this one? The yard. Okay, cool. Let's see if you can remember. We will match. Let's see. And before we do that, I want you to read with me. Living room. Dining room. Kitchen. Okay, A, B, C, one, two, three. Living room. Picture. Okay, let's repeat. Picture one, two, three. Living room. Picture number two. Dining room. Picture number one. Are you sure? Picture number three. Okay, one, two, three. Kitchen. Okay, cool. Now, you know that already. I will not go to another three of the vocabulary. Let's see if you can remember. There is a... Can you see this? What is it? A. Kitchen. B. Living room. C. Yard. A. B. C. Check your answer. The answer is... it's. This one is a kitchen. This is a kitchen. One more time. This is a kitchen. Okay. Next picture. This is a blank. Mm -hmm. Now check the answer. Living room, bathroom, bedroom. Are you ready? Cool. A. B. C. Okay, check out your answer. Letter C. This is a bedroom. This is a bedroom. Bedroom. Okay. Let's look at another um, question. Next part. This is a... Check out A, B, C. Living room. Yard. Bedroom. Again, living room. Yard, bedroom. What do you think? A. B. C. And the answer is letter A. Living room. This is a living room. Everyone read. This is a living room. Next picture. This is a A. Kitchen. Dining room, bedroom. A. B. C. Okay, check your answer. And the answer is letter B. Okay, I want you to read with me from number one. This is a kitchen. Good. This is a bedroom. Good job. This is a dining room. Cool. Next one. This is a living room. Great. Now, I want you to help me spell living room. How do you spell living room? L-I-V. Very good. I-N-G. Living room. L-I-V-I-N-G. How about room? R-O-O-M. Good job. What about kitchen? K-I-T. Yes. C-H-E-N. Good. Good job. What about bathroom? B-A-T-H. That's correct. R-O-O-M. Okay. Good job. Now, next, uh, look at number four. Dining room. How do you spell a dining room? D I N I N G R O O M. Great job. Now, we've just finished with our vocabulary from lesson number one. Now, let's look at lesson number three vocabulary, numbers 11 to 20. 
numbers 11 to 20. With this, you will be looking at the number spelling and the number itself. Are you ready? What number is it? It's 11. Very good. It's 12, 13, 14, 15. Can you say it with me? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Now, I'll point at the numbers or at the number. I want you to say what number is it. Okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Good. What number is it? 13. Very good. What about this one? 17. What about this one? 15. What about this one? 11. Great job. What about this one? 20. What about this one? 16, 12, 18, 14, 19. Now I know um, that you practiced these numbers already. Let's get going with uh, counting objects. Choose the correct answer. In the exam, will be similar to this one. In your exam, why you will just be selecting a b or c by circling the correct answer here how many flowers are there 10 11 13 let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 which one is the answer a B or C? The answer is letter B, 11. Now, let's ask again. How many fish cookies are there? Oh, let's count. But before that, let's look at the answer. 15, 18, 12. Now, let's count. 1, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. A, B, C. A, B, C. Okay. Now check your answer. The answer is letter B. Very good. Let's look at this another picture right down here. Let's uh, uh, read the question. Ready? How many chairs are there? How many chairs are there? Let's look at the answer. 15, 14, 13. Okay. Now we've got the idea of what number's gonna be right here. Now let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so the answer is, you've just heard it. I want you to choose which one. A, B, C. Good job. Now I guess you've got the right answer. It's letter A. Let's look at the next one. What do you think are these things right here? Hamburgers, very good. Hamburgers. How many hamburgers are there? 17, 14, 16. Now let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So which one is 16? A. B and C. The answer is letter C. Okay, very good. So we've just done with the number. Make sure you're able to know the numbers that we studied. 
from 11, spelling of the 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay. Now, let's look at food. There are six vocabulary we have for this lesson. This is from unit number eight. We will be back to the grammar later after we finish this one. Are you ready? Okay, what food is it? It's a hamburger, very good. Hamburger. What about this one? It's a hot dog, great job, hot dog. And this one? It's a pizza. Yes, that's correct. What about this one? French fries. Good job. French fries. And this one? Milk. Yeah, you can see the spelling right there. And the last one? It's a cookie. All right. So these are our vocabulary. Now, next to this is a one to two. Uh, choose the correct answer okay so there are vocabulary right here a b c but you've got to choose the right vocabulary that will match the picture a b c okay hamburger carrot pizza how many of you answer letter a b C. The answer is letter A. That's correct. Now let's look at next picture. Is it a hot dog, milk, cookie? A. B. C. And the answer is letter A. Great job. What about next one? Okay, now let's look at A, B, and C. A, B, C. Cookie, pizza, hot dog. A, B, and C. The answer is letter B. Very good. Last one right here. French fries. Yes. Now, I don't have to read the answers. You choose for yourself. A. B. And C. The answer is letter B. Great job. Okay. So, last time also for the grammar. Uh, we learned this in the class. Now, we will review right here. How many? And then we ask for the objects. Example, how many kitchens are there? If only one, we say there is. As you can see the arrow right here, there is. There is. There is will always, always be understood as one object. There is one kitchen. There is one kitchen. Yes, that's correct. There is one dining room. There is one living room. Okay, as you can see right here, we use there is when the object doesn't have any S at all. It means to say singular object. What about there are? There are, we always use this thing if the object is more than two or more than one in other words the objects can be two and then infinity means to say unlimited numbers okay example right here there are three bathrooms there are three bathrooms as you can see there is s right here if only one, so there should be no S, bathroom only. But we put S signifying that the object or place is more than one. Next one, 
There are four bedrooms. There are four bedrooms. Another thing right here is the S. Okay, the S. S means that the object or place is more than one. Okay, now I guess you understand already. Now let's see here. Um, there are four different questions right or four things right here that we need to answer. Uh, we can write the word there is or there are uh, by looking at the objects on the right side. And we put there is, there are, there is, there are. Okay. So for the first one, two tables, what's your answer? Let me say, uh, let me see if your answer is there is. There are. Yes, the answer is there are two tables. You can see right here, table has S with the word two, um, adjective two tables. So it is what? Plural. There are. Okay. Whoops. What about this one? One snack. One snack. Can we use there is or there are? There is. Those who choose to answer there is. There are. Okay, the answer is there is. There is one snack. What about number three? Three windows. Can it be singular or plural? It's plural. So what do we use? There is or there are? How many of you would say there is? There are. The answer is, there are three windows. Last one. There is or there are one yard. There is. Very good. There is one yard. So, it's very simple. If you see the object is only one without s of course the answer is there is all the time but if the objects are more than one you can say or you can write your answer by saying there are okay remember that let's unscramble these things question and answer if you remember the grammar part there, bedrooms, how many, how are many. Now, can you help me unscramble these things? What should be the first in the sentence when we ask question? How, very good. How, what's next? How are, how many? How many, very good. How many, what's next? How many? And then objects. What's the object here? Bedrooms. Very good. How many bedrooms are there? How many bedrooms are there? Question. Bedrooms 11. There are. There. Very good. Are 11 bedrooms. There are 11 bedrooms. Okay. So, now remember once again. If more than one, we use there are. If only one, we use there is. Okay, finally, for the exam part, we'll be doing selections of your answer. Here, we have the picture. A hamburger. A hamburger. There is or there are? How many of you would say there is? There are. The answer is, there is. Why there is? It has only one. We have only one hamburger. Okay, so we answer it. There is. Number two. Oops, we go number three first. A ball. A ball. What should we use? There is. There are. There is. Very good. Letter A. Okay? So, it's very clear now. There is is for singular. There are is for plural. What about this thing right here? 
chairs, right? They are chairs. How do we answer it? A. There is. There are. What's the answer? A. B. Okay, the answer is there are. Very good. There are 15 chairs. Last one. What can you see? What are they? They are peach pizza or oh, pizzas, right? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Blank 11 pizzas. There is or there are? There are. Very good. There are 11 pizzas. Now let's read the sentence with the answer. There is a hamburger. There is a ball. There are 15 chairs. There are 11 pizzas. All right. So now I'm going to go. Um, um, we're going back to our coverage of the exam. I want you to study by yourself. Okay. Now that's the end of our review. I want you to look at our coverage and study one more time by yourself. Parts of the house, the vocabulary especially, also numbers 11 to 20, 1 to 20, food, and the grammar part, which is there are, and there, uh, there is, and there are. So these two things right here. Okay, that's all for today. Let's go to our goodbye song. And I hope you enjoy. And I'm expecting that you can pass the exam or that just passed. Maybe you can get it perfect. Let's sing our goodbye song. <laughs> That's all for today. Make sure to review and watch this video again so you can get our exam perfectly. All right. That's all for today. And I want to say goodbye.